For example, math. Good afternoon, everyone. So this is the second part of uh, the previous video. If you remember, uh, we were talking about a term wherein we were trying to understand how the journal entries are passed in the books of vendor. Who is vendor? Vendor is the person who sells the goods. Take care to the buyer. Uh, that is the seller. Maharaj case tha. let us quickly continue. Cost of asset tha, 5 lakh rupees, down payment tha, 1 lakh rupees. And the condition was two equal installment has to be made at an interest of 10% per annum. So this was the calculation of installment. Now, if you think that I'm going fast, then please uh, refer the previous video. Because in the previous video, we uh, table kaise calculate hua hai that we have understood. And we have also understood how the journal entries have been passed. Because now, we are not learning how to pass journal entries anymore. Here, we are trying to learn and understand how to pass the ledger account. Okay. Again, in the books of vendor, because our case tha, wo sirf two years ka hi tha. Two, first year, we have five entries passed. First entry tha, the purchase of uh, the goods. Okay. Sorry, sorry, the sales of the goods, which is purchased by the buyer, but sales of the goods. Then, second. Uh, uh, sorry for the interruption. Yes, I was talking about uh, the buyer. Okay. So, buyer ने goods खरीदा है on credit वो हम first record करते हैं फिर we write about the down payment entry uh, we record uh, the uh, interest charge entry and then uh, the installment entry and at the end we transfer the amount uh, to the profit and loss then in the second year we record in the second year we record uh, just the interest charge entry and then we record the installment entry and the last third transfer entry. Now, let us see how it, we have to prepare ledger account with the help of this journal entry. So, we have to keep this journal entry in our in front of us and uh, based on the journal entries, okay, uh, based on this journal entries, we need to pass the ledger account. So, let us see how we need to make the ledger account. So, buyer's account. See, buyer's ye term aapne dek liya. Wo aapko dhunna hai ki buyer's kaan dek rahe hai aapko ledger account. Jahan jahan buyer's dek rahe hai, usko highlight karo. This, this is what I'm going to do. Okay. Then I can see buyer's here. Then I can see buyer here. Then I can see the buyer here. Then I can see the buyer. And I will tell you what exactly I'm going to do after highlighting them. Okay, so ye pure books of accounts may mujhe itne hi buyers dikh rahe. All right. Tab mujhe kya karna hai? Yaha in logo ne kya likha hai? Buyers account debit to sellers account. So buyers account ke debit side mein mein jaunga. I will write first year. Okay. So buyers account debit to sales account what is the amount five lakh okay this is how the entry is passed so buyer's account debit to sales account so this ke baad. the next is ye entry ho gay. next cash or bank account debit to buyer's account two means credit so, buyer's account ke credit side mein hum likh denge. Kya likhenge? Cash or bank account. Okay. So, we will write like this. Buy cash or bank account. Debit. And what is the amount? Same. What is the amount? So, cash or bank account debit to buyer's account. 
आई होप सो यू आर एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट आई एम से यहाँ टू बायस अकाउंट का मतलब है क्रेडिट तो बायस अकाउंट के क्रेडिट साइट में जाना है और डेबिट में कौन सा एंट्री आएगा यहाँ लिखा हुआ है कैश एंड बैंक अकाउंट दैट सेट यू हैव टू राइट कैश और बैंक अकाउंट तो कैश और बैंक अकाउंट डेबिट टू बायस अकाउंट लुक एट द कर्स दैट आई एम यूजिंग इट वुड बी हेल्पफुल फॉर यू टू अंडरस्टैंड हाउ एम को रिलेटिंग दिस जर्नल एंट्रीज विद अ लेजर अकाउंट ओके तो अभी बायर कहाँ है नेक्स्ट बायस अकाउंट डेबिट टू इंटरेस्ट अकाउंट यहाँ बायस अकाउंट डेबिट लिखना है टू इंटरेस्ट अकाउंट एंड वॉट इज दउंट फोर्टी थाउजेंड जस्ट कॉपी दिस फोर्टी थाउजेंड एंड स्लाइड दिस फोर्टी थाउजेंड एंड इज इट यूर दैट इज वॉट यू नीड टू डू फिर उसके बाद द नेक्स्ट इज कैश और बैंक अकाउंट डेबिट टू बायस अकाउंट Now remember this all entries are still in the first year. Cash or bank account debit to buyer's account. Cash or bank account debit. Again, cash or bank account debit. Aya hai. Here debit is written in the way of buy. Buy indicate karta hai ki cash or bank account debit side mein hai. Or buyer's account ke credit side mein we are writing. What is the amount? It is two lakh forty thousand. ओके टू लैख फोर्टी थाउजेंड हमने रिकॉर्ड मतलब हमने लिख दिए नाउ द नेक्स्ट इज दी ट्रांसफर एंट्री इंटरेस्ट अकाउंट डेबिट टू प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस अकाउंट बट इट डजेंट इंक्लूड एनीथिंग रिलेटेड टू बायर तो हमें बायर्स के अकाउंट में कुछ नहीं करना है वी हैव टू लीव इट एज इट इज नाउ व्हाट वी नीड टू डू फर्स्ट ईयर में देखो और कोई एंट्रीज नहीं है विच इज रिलेटेड विद बायर क्योंकि और कुछ भी एंट्रीज नहीं है विच इज रिलेटेड टू द बायर देन इट्स टाइम टू क्योंकि कुछ एंट्री नहीं है राइट इट मींस वी आर डन विद द फर्स्ट ईयर फर्स्ट ईयर की सारी एंट्री हो गई है अब बैलेंस करो इस साइड ज्यादा है फाइव लैख फाइव लैक्स फोर्टी थाउजेंड दिस इज द अमाउंट दैट वी विल बी राइटिंग इन बोथ द साइड एट द हाईएस्ट अमाउंट यही हाईएस्ट अमाउंट है राइट और यहाँ यू नीड टू हाईलाइट दिस और जहां आप ये टोटल अमाउंट लिखते हो Make sure you differentiate this amount. हम uh, यहाँ single line लिखा हुआ है मतलब single line draw है तो you have to draw a double line indicating कि this is the all entries that we have and this is the final amount. And now for the balancing amount, ये side ज्यादा है What is the balancing amount? It is you see the balancing amount would be टू लैक विच इज रिमेनिंग और ये बैलेंस आपको कौन से साइड में दिखेगा क्रेडिट साइड में दिखेगा एंड दैट फॉर यू टू राइट बाई बैलेंस क्लोज डाउन ओके नाउ ये ही टू लैक हमें नेक्स्ट ईयर वेन वी वुड बी राइटिंग दी फॉर द सेकेंड ईयर फर्स्ट थिंग दैट वी नीड टू Right is we have to bring this amount and we need to enter it here. Or up here will be the balance brought down, not closed down. And remember, debit side me, jitni bhi entries that you write, it has to be it has to begin with two. Okay. So here it was closed down two lakh. Now the second year first entry would be brought down. Now. we can go and check where exactly we can see buyer in the next year uh, there are only two entries one is buyer account debit to interest account so buyer's account debit to interest account that is what we will write and what is the amount it is 20000 so we will just write this 20000 here and the next entry is cash or bank account debit to buyer's account two buyer's account means we have to do at the 
credit side. We have to pass the entry at the credit side. So two buyers account and the debit entry is cash or bank account. So it is cash or bank account debit. Cash or bank account debit to buyers account. And what is the amount? It is 2,20,000. Just 2,20,000. Okay, now, is there any other entry that we could see? No, there's no other entry. Because two years to lucky to tha mara. So just write the amount or is what the garap total karoges, then you will get 2,20,000 at both the sides. Indicating that there is no balance amount which is left with the buyer. Buyer has sare amount pay kar diye hai. Now it's the time to transfer the ownership and give the ownership to the buyer for the goods that we have sold to. Uh -huh. Okay, so that is how it is. Agar socho ye three years ka entry hota ya four four years ka entry hota. Again balance aata. Fir hum usse close down karte. Fir next year mein usse brought down karte. Aur jo entries hote hain which is related with the buyer. We would have posted only those entries. Whether it is for three years, four years, five years, this is how it works out. Okay. So, same three entries would be passed again and again. That's it. I hope so. It is clear. If not, then please rewind the video. Check the first part. Then look at this video. You will get a proper understanding how we pass the journal entries and how we transfer these journal entries into ledger account. Now try, and now it's time to do the last ledger account which is prepared in the books of vendor. Vendor says, do he account prepare karta. A buyer's account, why? In order to check what is the balance amount which is left with the buyer. And the next account that vendor prepares, that is the seller prepares, is the interest in order to know how much interest that he has earned while dealing in higher purchase agreement. So let us give now I will highlight let me see where is the interest okay wherever you see interest first highlight first here may interest has been recorded twice I can see the interest account twice in the first year and even in the second year, I can see interest account twice. And that is what I have highlighted. The first thing. Okay. Now, the next thing what I will do, I will go to interest account, the ledger that I have prepared. And then I will pass the journal entry. How? First year may buyer's account debit to interest account. Okay. Means interest account ke credit side mein jana hai because it is written to interest account. So, Go at the credit side of the interest account to interest account and the debit entry would be buyer's account. So just we have to write buyer's account debit. That is buyer's account debit. Okay, buyer's account debit to interest account. And what is the amount? It is 40,000. Okay. Now, do we have any other entry for the first year? Yes, and that is for the interest. Yes, we do have. So, interest account debit to profit and loss account. So, we will write interest account debit to profit and loss account. Okay, and what is the amount? 40,000. Okay. And these all are entries of the first year. So I can write here first year. Hello. And do I have or do we have any entries for the interest for the first year? Second year may all the entries here that if you could check. But if I talk about the first year, could you see any entries on the first year? So there is no entries on the first year, right? So since there is no entries, it's time to calculate the, it's time to balance it. 
कैलकुलेट विच ऑफ द साइट इज हायर बट इफ यू विल कैलकुलेट तो आपको ये पता चलेगा दैट नन ऑफ द साइट इज हायर बिकॉज बोथ ऑफ द साइट इंक्लूड्स द सेम अमाउंट विच इज फोर्टी थाउजेंड रीजन जो इंटरेस्ट हमने चार्ज किया था वो इंटरेस्ट को हमने प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस अकाउंट में ट्रांसफर कर दिया है सो दर इज नो पॉइंट बट स्टिल वी नीड टू कैलकुलेट एंड चेक and there is no balance closed down so there would not be any balance which would be brought down so second year may directly we will start with the entry that we can see in the journal so let us see the journal entry the first journal entry is buyers account debit to interest account so buyers account debit again buyers account debit to interest account so it is at the credit side of the interest and what is the amount given here 20000 So we have to write twenty thousand. Okay. The next entry that we have to pass is interest account debit to profit and loss account. So interest account debit करो to profit and loss account. Interest account debit, interest account debit to profit and loss account. How much? Twenty thousand. Twenty thousand. Now there is no other entry. Calculate which side is higher. While calculating, we will realize both the sides has the same amount, and it is twenty thousand. That's it. Now the question is for three years, four years, or five years, whatsoever it would be. You will always see there is no balance in either of the side of the interest account. and it would be always equal both the sides would be always equal and only two entries that you could see at the credit side of interest account by buyers account dikhega with the same amount you have to write at the debit side to profit and loss so the interest which has been charged to the buyer would be again transferred to profit and loss fund that's what it says it is as simple as that but make sure that you practice this sum amount would be different percentage would be different but you must know how to calculate and how to pass the journal entry that's it that's it for now